I still exist. I, I took I took a wee break. We're in Salou. Yes, I'm wearing a hoodie in Salou. It's cold today, okay? It was, it's been 24 degrees the last week and then yesterday and today it's just like 10 degrees. I think it's like 17, but like, I need to wear a hoodie, it's cold. I'm very much a creature of, I have no heating in my hands and feet. Drug addiction. Um, but yeah, um, I don't know, I suppose going on this holiday has kind of shown me how far I've come in my recovery, but also shown me that like, you know, it is a constant journey of learning. Like I was like, oh my God, I'm so ready. And like the holiday's been amazing. We've had an amazing time. But I did not realise that, like this is something that I talked to my sponsor about and stuff, um, I, like I still garner a lot of fear and trauma connected to past situations in my life and holidays and stuff like that and just just to life in general. Um, and I had a wee moment, I think it was the first night we were here, I did a wee meditation, I couldn't sleep and um, I kind of just had a moment where I kind of came to myself and was like, okay, look, you've, you've got this far, you're, you're here, let yourself be here, let be let yourself be in the moment, because sometimes I think, and I, I know this from other addicts, and um, when you're in recovery, you can kind of get caught up in trying to be perfect and doing everything you need to, um, and like once you like you go through your steps and stuff like that, and you understand where you need to live your life and stuff, and um, that's all well and good, but you still need to learn how to deal with and be a person and shit like that, um, and like, you know, I, for a very long time, at the start of my recovery, was like, you know, everything has to be 100%, it has to be perfect, I can't, like, falter, and then, you know, you kind of realise that you're human, and that's not possible, um, and that's something I struggled with before I got sober, that I wanted everything to be perfect, so it's kind of learning that you have to be able to be okay with life on life's terms, which can be hard, but I, that it forced me to enjoy this holiday and not take any of my previous experiences and harsh you know, with that. And like that's when you get like real cute pics like this of me and Dan. Um, I'm also one of the bitches that um, yeah, brings this camera on the holiday because I want to have actual physical memories because digital memories are great. And that's kind of why I don't really post on social media anymore. Um, obviously the podcast and stuff when I do Twitch, but I kind of just try keep, you know, my memories to myself and. If I if I want to talk about something online, I will and that kind of stuff. But yeah, um, it's one day at a time. That's why it's if you keep it under twenty four hours. Um, I don't know what life holds for me in the future. Um, I know it's going to be on life's terms, on not mine, which is something that I you know struggle with most days, and I think most addicts do. Um, but when you kind of hand it over and you're just like, okay, look, I'm, you've got me this far. Um, gonna trust in you for the rest of it. But yeah, just a wee little update on like you know recovery is. It's, it's amazing, but it's also tough. Um, it can be tough at times. Um, but yeah, I've had an amazing holiday. I'm dead excited to get home and see my baby. Um, he's been my new wire friends. And there's a daily tax that they have to send um, photographs to us. And somehow he has got three times bigger than he was when we left. So I'm coming home to a seal. He was already a seal, but he's a bigger seal now. 